Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Foodie Friday. I have a great menu planned for you today. Um, but before I tell you what that is, let me introduce you to our special surprise ingredient. Get ready. Oh. Hello. Yes, it's not real pretty. It's celery root or otherwise known as celeriac. It's probably considered to be the ugly duckling of the vegetable community. And if you're like me, you have probably passed it by in the supermarket and really have given it a second thought. It's not something that I um, have spent a lot of time getting to know, if you know what I mean. But what I have found about celeriac or celery root is that it's probably one of the most underrated root vegetables. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to eat raw. Once you get past its woody exterior, you just cut away the outside. Like I cut this sort of like a pineapple. You find that there's this very tender, lovely flesh on the inside. I would say that it has the consistency, something that's kind of similar to jicama only it's just a little bit um, a little bit softer than jicama and so what we're going to do with this today is we're going to spiralize it and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute we're going to toss it in a lovely um, mustard vinaigrette with hazelnuts and apples it's a wonderful winter dish we're going to serve that alongside an avocado soup and I'm also going to show you what I nowadays now that I've gone raw and given up coffee what I'm doing with my French Press. Thanks to Martha Stewart, I found a new use. If you've been at Raw Foods for any length of time, you probably have seen the Spiruli or know something about it. Um, it is one of the coolest kitchen devices around, and um, I really think it's neat. And unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman right now, so you're going to have to just see this in segments. But I have it positioned on this side, and I'm getting ready to turn this crank and produce some pasta-like noodles. So we've turned this into spaghetti. Isn't that cool? I just think this is the coolest, one of my coolest kitchen um, pieces of equipment that I have. Now what we're going to do with these noodles is we're going to toss together a vinaigrette out of these ingredients. You can see we have parsley, apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, I tried to get hazelnut oil, but it was not available, so I'm substituting walnuts. A little touch of olive oil, some Celtic sea salt, a bit of freshly squeezed lemon. We're going to cut the apple up into little, um, lovely little pieces, and then we're going to crush some hazelnuts. And then to top it all off, we are going to shave some fennel. Basically, we're going to treat the fennel almost as if it were Parmesan cheese to top it off with. But fennel is, um, well, it's one of those ingredients that not everybody likes because it's kind of got a strong flavor, a little bit more like licorice, which I'm not a big fan of it. But in small doses, it's really going to accompany this dish really well. And so this is just like any other ingredient. It's totally optional. Before I put this together, I wanted to show you the ingredients that I have assembled so that you can easily um, replicate this in your own raw food kitchen. There is our spiralized celery app or celery root. Here is the um, vinaigrette mustard dressing that I have whisked together. We have uh, shaved fennel, just a little bit of that. We have some crushed hazelnuts, which you can just crush those with a knife. Um, if you have a mini food prep or even a coffee grinder, you can break those nuts up easily like that. Just a little bit of chopped flat leaf parsley and gala apples that I have cut into little pieces, little match, match size pieces. So we're going to assemble this. The next thing that I'm going to do when I'm going to show you the whole finished product is I'm also going to make an avocado soup which is a really light and delicious accompaniment to this so that's coming up next ingredients for the soup are going to be mellow white miso a little bit of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil obviously one delightful and ripe avocado 
um, the juice of one lime, some fresh rosemary, and as a garnish I'm going to be using pepitas or um, pumpkin seeds and just a little sprinkling of chopped red bell pepper. Well, are you ready to see the finished products? Okay, let me show you. A beautiful avocado soup that has a garnish of um, red bell peppers, pumpkin seeds, and a little drizzling of olive oil and freshly cracked pepper. The lovely, wonderful celery root pasta dish that has a garnish of fresh parsley and crushed hazelnuts. And then my inspiration from Martha Stewart. This glare of this light is pretty bad. This is my old French press coffee. And look, I'm a big fan of infusions. If you all have um, read my book, The Raw Food Cleanse, you know that infusions are one of my favorite things. And what I have done with this is I have put in sliced apples, lemon peel, a little bit of lemon juice, and fresh rosemary. And I poured hot water over that and let that steep for about 30 minutes. And that is going to be my um, infusion or tea, if you will. So today's Foodie Friday menu was inspired by Raw Food Cleanse, Martha Stewart Living, and on page 62, I believe, of Bon Appetit is where I got the inspiration for the celery root salad. So I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Foodie Friday. It's been so much fun for me. And I just wanted to let you know that if you liked the spiruli, the spiral slicer that I made the pasta with, we're going to be giving away one of those next week on Raw Food Rehab. So you'll want to be sure to log in every day so that you can get your name into the drawing for a spiral slicer. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.